This brief recording is meant to function as a supplement to the materials in our online tutorial. AIMS are learning outcome statements. They reflect what we want students to know or do during the course. AIMS are written at course level, unit level, assignment level. Most importantly, they're written for a student audience. They state the level of performance that we expect students to attain, and they acknowledge how we will measure their performance. AIMS are composed, then, to specify measurable learning outcomes that are sequenced, practiced, and assessed. It's important in setting out these aims to use unambiguous verbs. Among the verbs to avoid, understand, know, learn, appreciate. Rather than use these very ambiguous verbs, take a look at the resource materials to think about what level of understanding you want. Is it basic remembering? Is it understanding in an applied, more hands-on way? Is it understanding in order to describe, synthesize, and evaluate theory? Aims happen at three levels. Often course level aims are named ultimate, end of term aims. They reflect overarching, cognitively complex learning goals that you have for your students. And they require students to realize what are called mediating aims. Assignment activity aims, the kinds of things, again, that students need to do on their way to meeting a larger goal. When you're setting up mediating aims, one of the things to think about is how they coach students to succeed in reaching higher level, level ultimate aims. The foundational aim might be the aim you attach to homework or class sessions. They highlight the gateway concepts and skills to master. They cue sometimes the misconceptions that will be addressed. Foundational aims often require lower level cognition, recalling, paraphrasing. And they often engage learners in identifying, questioning, and abandoning misconceptions about the subject that come into the classroom with them. The sequencing of aims is important to keep in mind. When you're constructing a course syllabus, you may well list the ultimate aims, the overarching, cognitively complex goals that students will meet, the things that require them to, that help them to meet these ultimate goals, the mediating aims, may be attached to assignments, to exams. The foundational aims may be attached more overtly to homework and class session aims that you describe with a slide within a class session. Here's some examples. An ultimate goal in a course or an ultimate learning aim may be by the end of the course, students will be able to critically evaluate an article. It's a wonderful aim for many courses to be able to read within a field and do it well. The mediating aim here might be by the end of a lesson or a unit or an assignment, students will be able to identify the thesis statement and 90% of its supporting key points in a New York Times op-ed piece. The mediating middle skills here involve the thesis statement and uh, finding supporting evidence within a particular article. A more foundational one might be for students to use a fact-checking process to uh, report on the reliability of three sample articles. Again, they'd be reading articles, but it, checking for facts, learning how to evaluate, and it's a fairly low-level foundational aim that would be helpful for students as they're working with articles to then move up to the next aim of being able to analyze it and up to the next one to critically evaluate that particular article.